Hi everybody, Puyu Zakelian here again today and I have decided to try magnet fishing again because I haven't been here in a while. Now it's really hard because I keep getting like the little things and I know there are big things down there because I can feel them. Whoops, traffic. Might be extra loud because the phone is kind of on the bridge, but anyway. I've been here better part of two hours and it's okay, but I'm disappointed because, gosh, I wish I had hip waders because the, I keep saying because. Why do I keep saying because? Because it's the only word that came to mind. <laughs> anyway, um, there was absolutely no traffic until I pressed record. So I'm going to show you what I got to now. Um, I can't remember which one was, which was my first catch thing because I've got kind of lined them up right here but basically you know the usual you know a, a nail another nail covered in I'm not sure what some kind of a fungus maybe or actually this nail has it too so both of those nails have that and surprise i've got another nail and they say that after three if you have three of something you have the beginning of a collection so since i have way more than three nails it looks like i got me a collection <laughs> uh this construction stuff is common this must have been a spike yeah so it's like the biggest item I found, like um, as far as this ruse goes, it's not the biggest that I found today. I, I did find one that I'm kind of impressed with. Anyway, uh, so this is yet another one. So that was mm, six, six nails. One of these little, just a little clip thing on off of something. This is a bottle cap. And I do see blue, I also see red, but I cannot tell what the brand was. It says 31 on the inside. Perhaps it's a Halloween drink. <laughs> uh, schooners, let's go. What is all this traffic? There was no traffic. Like, <sighs> All right, anyway, these are like metal. I don't. They're like rounded on the inside, so I don't know, some kind of an O-ring, maybe? But it's it's metal. Had a heck of a time taking them off the magnet, actually. Small piece of metal. I thought it was a rock. It's not a rock, because, oop, stuck right to it. What else? Oh, yeah, yeah. So these little things, I'm getting them all the time. Uh, trying to show them to you. They're like, I don't know, they almost look like a tiny miniature pie slice the way that they're cut and I keep finding them so they must be off of a I don't know engines or boats or something that are in the water already hard to say but I get them a lot and of course we being the well one of the seafood capitals of the world oh. anyway this is actually a pretty big piece of clam or whatever this is pretty sure it's a clam freshwater clam you can't eat them you would get super sick and um not just because they are freshwater clams because even if the water was clean you would still get sick on a freshwater clam but the fact that this water is so contaminated with oil and grease and creosote and garbage that people have thrown in and all the other stuff it's just and for now, the magnet is actually in the water right now, so I'll put it up. I'll pull it up. Uh, this huge piece of metal. It's been sheared, like it's been cut. Anyway, that's a really long piece of just metal. It's like an inch round, and it's freaking heavy. I was. When I pulled that up, I was like, oh my gosh, what do I got? Is it a gun? Is it, you know? I, I never showed you this nail head. I 
got one before a long time ago too. And maybe I dropped it and, and I got it back, but I mean, this is super tiny. So I just think it's a coincidence that there was more than one, but hang on, I'm getting there. Okay, so it is, oh my goodness, this is really hard. How do those hand models do it? Wow. Okay, so basically it was a nail and the head of the nail came off and landed onto my magnet. One more throw. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Oh, I get stuck at the same place every time, which means there's something metal. It's pretty big. Or it's really, really deep in the rocks. I keep hooking onto it. I give it tension. I won't come up. But you know what? I need to find hip waders or something while the water level is still pretty low. It's about a foot, easily a foot lower than it should be. It's been really dry. Super, super humid and muggy, but very dry. So you see what I mean? So I know that there's metal, something down there because I wouldn't have all this debris. And I think it's just kind of taking off layers Whatever it is down there, so it's, the layers are just coming up on my magnet and it's just coming up and up and up, but I'm not actually able to lift, well, not yet anyway, the, uh, the actual item. Whew. All kinds of oil coming up to the surface of the river, so I must be disturbing something somewhere, but of course, it doesn't take a whole lot for that oil to float up. So, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna... I, say, I was going to say cast. I'm going to throw my magnet a few more times. And then I'm going to head back home. It's Sunday afternoon. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Sunny, sunny. <sighs> Splashes. Oh, uh, well. I <laughs> just when you're going to lose courage. Just when you think, oh man, I have had enough of this and I am going home. Not that it's a super amazing thing, but it's off of a bucket. Remember the last time I kept going on and on about the handle that I found and I just put seagull noises in the background? <sighs> Won't do that this time, but it is the handle of a bucket. Ah, keeps getting stuck in my magnet. And it's a small bucket because if you look at the little, these things right here, it's not, it's not very big, so, well, Throw it in a few more times. Cause I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's like magnet, it is magnet vision. It's like metal detecting. You don't know, like, the, and my metal detector is kind of cheap. Well, not kind of, it is cheap. Uh, it kind of tells me how deep I should go, and it kind of gives me an idea if it's zinc, or copper, or metal, or iron, or whatever. But what I want is a one that has a coil on it that can handle dampness, because the morning dew yesterday was actually interfering with my metal detecting, because that's how not great my detector is. So I had to leave, because it kept giving me bad signals. So anyway, what I would like to have is one of those metal detectors that gives you like, you know, if it's in high 80s, you know it's silver, or you got a pretty good idea that it's silver, whatever. I don't know. Maybe I've been good this year. Maybe Santa Claus will bring me one. Everybody's got a dream. <laughs> you know, come on, Santa Claus. There can't be that many other people. I mean, how many people could be asking for metal detectors from Santa Claus other than me? I mean, I know there's, but I mean, in this area, like there aren't that many people. You know what else I've been thinking? Thinking of getting a stronger magnet. This is a 500 pound rare earth neodymium magnet. Uh, I didn't dare go too, too strong on the magnet because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to lift up 
whatever it was stuck to or and then if I did lift whatever up that was onto it I probably wouldn't be able to I mean you don't know how long it took that big metal thing this right here there holy moly, that took me like I was banging on the side it's hard to remove but if I get a thousand or I think it's a 550 kg so about a thousand pound pull those hard to reach items like the ones that are just not coming up maybe they would maybe I could find a gun maybe I could find silverware anything would be awesome yeah <sighs> last time see the technique Delicate and elegant, you know, it's like <laughs> Not a whole lot of people say Oh, yeah, that for you is Acadienne. She's super delicate <laughs> What if what if this is the one That I this is the time that I throw in my magnet and I actually am able to lift this whatever it is Oh my goodness and if I could just see, the water is so black. <laughs> if I could just see to the bottom, because it's only, you know, maybe this deep. I don't know, what's that, foot and a half? Foot and a half deep? Why can't I just get in there and just kind of shake stuff up and clean up this river, you know? You know, I dream, when you, they say that when you dream, you should dream big, right? So. How amazing would it be if somehow my little efforts to clean up this river actually ended up removing enough of the metal and the uh, nails and the creosoted things and what if what little bit of magnet fishing that I'm doing could actually pick up so much over the years I guess that it would actually sort of kind of clean up this this river right here like it would kind of clean it up and then maybe maybe it wouldn't smell so horrible and maybe maybe fish could come back or so I don't know wishful thinking probably <sighs> nothing well I guess I'm gonna <laughs> pile up this rope and and I uh, say what I usually say stay happy stay healthy stay curious Restez content, restez de santé, puis restez de studio. Pour les Acadiens, saying, see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe. S'il vous plaît, abonnez. Et uh, faites le thumbs up. Helps a lot. And uh, I'm going home with this stop. It's garbage. <clears throat> all right, then. Got it all put away. Got to get all this stuff in my little satchel here and bring it to the recycle because it's all metal and I'll see you on the next the sun my gosh <laughs> I'll see you on my next Fuyu's adventure bye bye uh, we have a lot <laughs> I wasn't expecting that